All right, let's jump in. Question number one, the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you in the classroom? Grace. You said first. <laughs> I got Dang. one. All right, I'll tell you. Um, so, once, twice, okay, there's two experiences. Both of them involved my pants and my zipper. I, <laughs> I um, when I first got here, I, I was fat, I'm still fat, but I didn't know about online shopping and where to get clothes. So I, I went to like the, the co-op mark. Mm -hmm. And so I wasn't, maybe I was about the same size or not quite as big. So I got some pants and shirts. They were tight, they were tight on me. And I had to go to class and teach. So one time, this certain pair of pants, I don't know what happened, um, but I'm in class and they're like giggling. I was teaching uh, high schools at the time. So <clears throat> these pants were tight. I, I can't lie, they were mm -hmm. tight. Yeah. And I just went to class like normal. I was free balling it on that day. And so they were tight and these are 17 year old students or whatever. Free and they're like laughing. Up, so. Free show. And I didn't know how to handle it because they're like, Laughing and one guy is like covering some girl's eyes like this. I'm like shit, it's my my dick print was showing or something. What's happening? And it, it was. I mean, there's nothing I could do. <laughs> there's nothing I could do. And I it, I didn't know what to. Do. I've never been in that situation before. Uh, so I just like hid behind the desk for the rest of the class, trying to like teach from behind the desk. I, normally, I in, in my classes I would go through the aisle, yeah. check the, go to the board, and this time, this day, I was just like, I'm at the desk today. But yeah, that was pretty embarrassing. Um, all the kids were like. Yeah, I think, crazy. Yeah. I'm the last ball. So you got a bad story? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, for me, uh, for me, it was, you know, uh, you have to use the, the laptop, with a TV, mm -hmm. with a projection. So I was I was telling the student, okay, open your book to this page. This is your homework for today. Trying to explain the homework to them how to do it. Then they were sitting down, giggling. I'm like, what's going on? Mm -hmm. Then one lady said, oh, teacher, it's off. <laughs> so apparently the TV was off. And the um the HDMI was connected, so I thought everything is connected and so on, mm, but yeah. I was speaking to the head. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to switch and they were all laughing. Ah. I had to turn off there. <laughs> you were just teaching and they can't I was see. teaching, they can't and see anything. How long did it take before they told you, teacher? There's nothing. Well, they, I think for about 30 to 40 seconds because they were all laughing oh, and okay. giggling. <laughs> Then one lady was confident enough to say, oh, teacher, the TV will mm -hmm. off." Yeah. That's so, what I got. Yeah, I, I cannot think of anything. <laughs> you better. Forget it. No, 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 no. <laughs> Chris is just, he's the cool teacher. I don't know. I mean, I haven't done anything embarrassing, but I think maybe there's one, one, mm -hmm. one time, like, I think I forgot to write, like, just, uh, wrong grammar thing and then the student corrected it like teacher that should be like has been and then uh, i think i wrote just has been living mm -hmm. has living and then i did it a lot but i mean you're a teacher so you need yeah. to be at least perfect with what you do yeah you then, but, but i mean <laughs> uh, <laughs> i don't think so <laughs> <laughs> like teacher there's no e in that word yeah no. but i think yeah, that's embarrassing because like maybe like the student oh maybe this teacher has it. but I mean I just forgot to write it down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like it's been in your head but you 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 thought that you wrote it but it wasn't there. Yeah. You know, that's one of my fears is that I will like either I'll make a big mistake or like I won't have the answer. Like, mm -hmm. I've taught some adult students who go deep mm. into the grammar and they're like, can you explain the difference between 
chose and chosen or something like that. And, and, uh, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm in the middle of class. I'll answer you afterwards, after class, after I do a bunch of research to find the answer. <laughs> Sometimes you just throw the question to the to the students because there are some of them who are really yeah. clever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because. That's what sometimes I do. I, I want the students to ask questions. Mm -hmm. Even though sometimes they feel shy to ask the questions. So I just try to push them, encourage them to ask questions about the topic. If you don't understand something, you ask. So there are sometimes some of the students, I mean, they are good. So when a question is asked, I put it to the, the floor. Okay, he asks us a question, not only me. Mm -hmm. Then you will get one or two of them who will really give the right answer. Yeah. Yeah. So you can do that sometimes to so save. Yeah, that's yeah. true. So, so see that was easy. Was, uh, yeah. So what's the next story? What's the next question? Um the funniest thing a student has ever said to you? You guys have any funniest? Hmm. Not that I can think of. No, yeah. Uh yeah. I think there is one like I thought like the student said like TT <laughs> because say in the Philippines if, if you say TT it means penis or dick it's like what did you say <laughs> and it said oh two two it's like yeah, wait wait yeah, it's and then I thought to myself I thought you said TT yeah <laughs> you better use me when you edit that 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I gotta put a bleep on it. Yeah, sometimes yeah. students will give me some funny answers during like IELTS practice or whatever. Mm -hmm. But it's really just in the moment, never anything like that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I remember. <laughs> okay, so uh, actually, I was giving a remarks mm -hmm. on their homework. So I asked the student, okay, where is your, I mean, your communication, I mean, your, your reports cut? Mm -hmm. And the students said, oh, at the beach. Ah, at the point, oh, I was confused. I said, no, I want to get a report card so that I can write the comment for you. And she was still repeating, oh, I went to the beach, at the beach. I'm not asking them at the <laughs> beach, but the student was still telling me the beach, the beach. So yeah. I needed someone to help. So I called her friend mm -hmm. to come, and her friend explained, explained to her, that she's not asking you what you did or whatever. She's asking for the report card. Yeah. She, the friend brought a report card to show her this, 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 and I mean, knock the head. Yeah. The friend knocked the head and said, 